Okay, so my name is Nikita Nufrev. I am CEO and founder of Datecoin. Datecoin is the world's first dating service that employs neural networks and artificial intelligence algorithms. Also, we are based on a working business model that was established in Russia in 2015, and we use blockchain for verification system of our users. So it was last uh, spring, uh, spring 2017, and my partner Alexei, he went to the conference, crypto conference. I don't remember the name of the project, but uh, they said, come on guys, you can do ICO. And, but we, not, we was not very serious about it. So last summer when Bitcoin drops and Ethereum drops, I decided, oh, it's a good opportunity because I have a trading background and I bought it. I bought Ether around uh, $200 dollars and then I sold it around 800 so after it in the August uh, company where I consult them uh, it's a forex company and they uh, have completed ICO in February its company calls LH crypto uh, uh, so that CEO of this company came to me and said Nikita I need your support in online marketing in our uh, ICO so we did all online marketing to this company and in total this company raised uh, 10 million uh, and spend around 2 million dollars so that was my I think the most involved point in this cryptocurrency but I heard about Bitcoin and I bought it uh, in 2013 in 2014 but also I like a lot of other people missed keys because all these trades uh, was on some kind of exchanges in Forex exchanges on so I have no keys but I'm not worried about it Okay, so when we're talking about Datecoin as a project, uh, I will describe the difference. Also, we call Datecoin our token. Yes, yeah, so uh, what is the main difference between all the projects? I think that we save your time. Because when you have time and you have no money, <laughs> you can use Tinder, you can swipe left, swipe right, swipe left. General case, you came to the Hong Kong, to the Seoul, to the Dubai, any big city, and you want to find a date for two days because you are only two day trip, you start to swipe. Okay, you liked uh, 30 girls. Maybe next morning one or two of them will answer to you. But it's the main problem that matching Tinder is not a date. You need, then you need time to talk with her to change phone numbers and something else. In Datecoin and in our working project Denim, that's three years old with a lot of users, with 800,000 users on the platform, we save your time. Because we have a high reply rate, 80%, and uh, we guarantee that we will uh, have a date because we prepare our users, our female users, our male users step by step in marketing strategy, in uh, App Store and Google Play page, at, uh, inside the app. So it's multi-level marketing, we prepared them for the date. Okay. And the main difference is efficiency, because in our project you save your time and you're able to find uh, an ideal partner faster than in uh, compared to the Tinder or to the body for example. You know, it's a very good question because uh, we have a very interesting statistic. It's statistic of deleting uh -huh. from our platform. Uh -huh. yeah. And in our platform, users can delete, but they need to assign a little description why they delete, uh, why they want to delete from our platform. And uh, we have statistic based only on uh, this data. I can say in percentage, but I think it's enough because uh, for I can move to the some uh, maybe details of dating business because for every dating business is very important users to return to a platform. But I can say that uh, at this point, uh, around 30% of our users return to our platform after two or three months. It means that they okay, they make a date maybe for not uh, all their life, but they make a date for two or three months and then they return, and it's a good. Yeah. 
So, Datecoin ecosystem, it's, uh, we need to jump to the problem of the market. For example, Tinder, it's good, it's a large international project. But it will be honest, it's good in Europe and in the United States. Because Tinder is not adapted to the local mind. That's why we want to create ecosystem with uh, different apps. So, ecosystem, it's different apps in uh, key region, in key countries, like different app for Korea, different for Japan, for China, for Europe, we will have one app for America, another one. And all these apps connected with one user database and with one tokens, what it takes to us and takes to our users. So people from Korea will be able to travel around the world to date, to match with people everywhere using their own app, using their app that are localized to their mind. But at the same time, they can be able to chat to date with, their, for example, women in uh, America or in Russia. But these women will use their local adapted app. So this is the ecosystem of Datecoin. And also, all these apps connected with one token. So uh, with the growth of our service, uh, the demand to our token will go up and up. And uh, that's why our token will be growth. Uh, you know, mainly it's uh, capitals like uh, Seoul, like Tokyo, like Osaka, because uh, it's much easier to start in uh, these uh, in, in like large cities. So you're focusing on the capital city. Not capital the, cities. Not, not uh, depends on the country. Uh, no, it depends on the countries because we uh, don't now we don't plan to move to the India or maybe to Indonesia. Uh, we have some kind of priority. Also, it will be not Europe at all. It will be separated countries like Germany, like Spain. Also, we plan to move to Canada. Uh, I, you know, it, you know, it depends from country to country because. Uh, First of all, you need to cover uh, the largest cities in the region. But also, if we're talking about ICO, it's very important because with this ICO we received, we get a feedback about our project, not only from investors, also from community. That's why we now, in our plan was, we first plan to move to Europe because it's easier for us. But after, with all this ICO process, we understand that we will start from the Asia, from the Korea and Tokyo and uh, Japan, like uh, two key countries, because the most uh, amount of money we raised from Japan and from Korea, it's very important. And I believe that if investors believe in our project, yes, they want to earn and they want to sell it tokens in future, but they want our project to be deployed in their country. Okay, uh, so if you're talking about our project, we separate, as I said, uh, best user experience, blockchain like a technology, and token, because I think it's a big, big mistake that token need to be connected with blockchain. No, it cannot be. So, uh, you, how it will be looks like? Now, uh, our ICO, it looks like we sell our services uh, three or four years forward to investors. How many investors we can find in average ICO? 20,000, 30,000 people, it will be enough. So after this, uh, they will be resell our tokens to our clients. Because what we do, we, okay, in our service now, people spend $50, but they will be able to get the same services only for $25. Okay. Only at the, also at the same time, we will offer some special services, like special gifts, special status, special, you know, unlimited access to the service only in tokens. and. This million of users, millions of users, sorry, uh, we calculated it will be 3 million of people who will buy token from our investors next year. So uh, I believe that our token is very good protected and secured and backed by the growing active audience wo worldwide. So there are, um, you know, much more our service will, with, our, with growth of the, our service, our token will be growth too, because it's very important that once token activated in our platform, it destroyed. If it's destroyed, the number of tokens decrease. If it's decrease and demand is grows, the price go up anyway. Because it, people buy tokens only to resell them in future. Mm -hmm. Because okay, Filecoin, show me the people who someone who use Filecoin. I really love this project, but nobody use it. When we are talking about dating, 
people will use it like food, like clothes, like uh, water. People yeah. really need it. Okay, so if I talk about financial goal, then I want to build a company with uh, 200 million euros in revenue because now we have 2.5 million dollars, but in plan uh, 200 million euros. Uh, if you're talking about uh, main goal of our project is I want to you know Alexander Shulgin, our investor, said Datecoin connecting hearts. So we want to provide the best dating experience because mm -hmm. for my personal usage, I was in Shanghai, in Seoul, in Dubai. I can't make a date in Tinder. Mm -hmm. You know, I am not uh, very, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, bad guy, poor guy. No, I just you know I write it, crypto millionaire came to the Shanghai. I'm looking for the date. <laughs> nothing, yeah. you know, nothing. Maybe a week later, mm -hmm. maybe five days later. It's a problem. A lot of people traveling around the world and they can't make a date. That's our uh, target. We want to solve this problem. Also, I can talk a lot about other things because when I push button in Tinder, just you know, to make a screenshot, they charge 3,000 3, rubles from our my card. And I get Tinder for half an year. I don't need dating app for half an year. You know, in our app, uh, we, uh, it costs the same, 3,000 troubles, but in one month. Mm -hmm. And people spend this money, and then they return back after two months. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are not focused you know, on the mass market, we are focused on the high efficiency dating, mm -hmm. where people, uh, uh, the, uh, and you know, to the people who uh, understand that their time is more important than the money. Uh, last comment to Korean audience. Uh, so, uh, I really love Korea because uh, it's my seventh time here. Uh, we have a strong support from Korean advisory also. You, today we have a presentation, two presentations, yeah. both with Kent Kim. Uh, my last comment, I think that uh, Asian people also in Korea, uh, you are very progressive in this blockchain and uh, really you want to educate it because it's only two countries, Korea and Japan, mm -hmm. where people have a lot of cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. but they don't tell us, oh, I am an expert. They want to study. They want yeah. to study from every our investor. I, uh, I, uh, you know, I, uh, first of all, they said, we want to study. We want to understand blockchain. We want to send your project and then they invest. For example, in Europe, the situation is different. Everybody an expert with no cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. So, Last word, invest with a smart, I know, uh, think uh, a lot before you make a decision to invest. Because now it's uh, not a time to invest money to the where people can share just an idea. Mm -hmm. Choose projects good. And I think that some projects can, uh, they can uh, make maybe X10, maybe X12 to you. Because I know this feeling, uh, how to make, for example, from 50 cents, 50, and how to sell tokens by $50. Mm -hmm. I know this feeling and uh, I really recommend you to choose good projects and don't afraid to invest. Because when everybody afraid to do something, like mm -hmm. it was one week ago, two weeks ago, when Ether cost 300, we spell all our power and we concentrated on Korea and on, on Japan. And we know when everybody afraid, you can do a big thing. So join Connect Hearts.